Hello everybody and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to make your own flow maps for the next gen sprites FX lava and liquid shaders. So first let, let's take a look at the demo scene and I have here the um, liquid example texture as sprite and um, if I press play then we can see at the game view how the um, material is animated, but we can also um, see the um, flow map in action if inside the scene view if we enable animated materials. So in this way we don't need every time to jump to play mode. Great, so how does, what is the idea behind the flow map? So with the flow map basically you can um, uh, basically move the UVs of the texture and this way we can make this interesting um, uh, liquid effects. And the flow map is basically just a red and green um, texture. And uh, the red and green values then um, control uh, the strength and the direction um, of the flow by time. All right. So how do we do our own flow maps? There's this neat little application uh, which is called Flow Map Painter. It's for free. Sadly, it's not open source. Under the description, you can find a link to the um, download. And let's jump into it. And you can already notice it's made with Unity. I mean, why not? All right, so let's play or let's start. And this is Flow Map Painter. So on the right side we have this preview with um, a water texture, and on the left side we have this um, panel uh, with some settings. And as you can see around where my cursor is, um, we have this uh, circle, actually two circles, the outer one and then the inner circle. And if I press the left mouse button, and if I drag the mouse, and you can see that we get some gentle um, uh, uh, directional flowing here and along this um, uh, along the line I have drawn here. And if I press the right mouse button and I drag the mouse up, then you can see that this inner circle um, gets bigger, and this indicates the strength of our stroke. So let me paint again. Now you can see that. Um, the water is now flowing faster, okay? And we can also control the strength by this handle here, a slider. And now you can see the inner circle got smaller. Again, if I make it bigger, then it got more strength. All right, and if we press the middle mouse button and I move my, or if I drag my mouse up, then you can see that it also increase the size of this um, uh, uh, stroke. So now we can cover up the wall texture here. Nice. So that's pretty much the basics, but there are two more modes. If I press the two key, then we are now in the pinch or inflate mode. So by default we are at inflate. So if I press the um, left mouse button, then you can see we have now this kind of um, inflation. And if I press the shift key, we can inverse it, then we basically get then, um, this kind of uh, pinch so that the water flows inside this direction and here outside. And then we have a last uh, a third mode, which is called vertex. So basically the water um, flows like a circle let me try this out, out, and you can see it's flowing then like some kind of, uh, yeah, a vertex. And obviously if we press the shift key, we can go into the other direction. Great. And if I press the one key again, we are in the directional mode. And what else can we do? Well, there's actually not really much else you can do. 
Um, but I think it's all you need to make uh, some interesting flow maps and also um, some nice feature is if we um, are drawing and if we reach the edge then it will continue drawing on the opposite uh, edge so if I reach this point then it will begin to, to draw on this side here and we can also zoom in and out so that we can um, take a better look at what I was trying to explain you. So if I draw on this side, then you can see how it's drawing on this side here. All right. And if I draw to this edge, then it continues on this side. So it's pretty uh, great if you're doing tiled um, textures. And um, yeah, uh, you can actually zoom by pressing the space bar and then um, scrolling with the uh, mouse uh, scroll wheel. All right. And if we press the R button, then we can reset our view. And we can also do undo by Control C. Uh, doesn't like uh, Control C. Yeah, now we can undo everything. Now, we like to save our texture, so we can here data, um, set the path and the name, so we call this uh, flow map tutorial. And then we say bake to texture. And now we have it here, and we can uh, take a look, as you can see, it's just green and wet, and this, this pretty much uh, uh, controls the way how everything is uh, moved. And let's just try to um, move this to Unity. Uh, let's see if I can do this like this. No. Uh, let me see if I can. All right, great. So let's just drop it here into the asset folder. And here it is. And now we can use it for our um, example li liquid um, uh, sprite. So let's drop it here. Now you can maybe see if I make the texture a little bit, uh, if I in increase the size, let's say 5.5. Five. Then you maybe can notice, uh, for example, um, the uh, inflation here and the, um, uh, the, the vertex here on, around. And actually let's try to make another one, for something very simple. Just let's make um, uh, a box that flows like this way. Du, 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 du. Now let's save this again. Back to texture and it's now have been overwritten or replaced. And let's delete this one here. Right, thank you. And now let's move. Let's move it back to our project and let's assign the flow map. Now, as you can see, only um, the edge is having its uh, flow um, business going on. All right, great. So, yes, that's how flow maps work. And again, uh, under the, the description in the video here, you can find um, a download link. So, see you soon. Bye-bye.